wine. Welcome to Hot Takes with Cheddar Chaz, where there's no hand holding. We deal with facts on emotion. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you haven't already. Shout out to everybody who's been riding with me this whole season. It's been peaks and valleys. It's been tumultuous. You know what I'm saying? But if you watch this show, you were prepared for, you know, a lot of the bad stuff. Some of the good stuff I prepared you for, too. But for a lot of the bad stuff, you were prepared if you listen to Cheddar Chaz. I just want to thank y'all for riding with me, man. It's been good. Even the detractors, I want to thank you for still clicking on my face and uh, watching the video anyway. Hate views count, too. And I also want to thank the new people who um come aboard and, you know, now... um you know um i guess what's the word abreast now abreast of the uh the channel and of um the show and i want to welcome you aboard this is not like other shows you know we're pretty uh we're pretty <laughs> pretty harsh here <laughs> pretty hardcore you know what i'm saying we ain't cutting no corners so this is going to be um a multi-episode episode if that makes sense it's going to be uh broken up into several pieces this is your off-season primer things that have gone through my mind ideas i've had even dating back to before the season um unfortunately or fortunately ended the way it did depending on how you think about things right uh, i'm gonna come right out the gate pause i want to talk about buddy hill right buddy hill i think he would be an incredible acquisition for this team he plays a very modern brand of basketball we all know buddy hill's an incredible shooter has been an incredible incredible shooter since he was hey in new orleans we traded him for boogie cousins it was the right move it didn't work out for the pelicans in the long run because boogie got hurt need to get boogie back also but you know it was an incredible um incredible draft pick for the pelicans you know buddy hills went on to have a really really good career that draft was a really good draft in hindsight um but i think he's going to be available he's a um an expiring contract i believe his salary is a, is around uh 19 million dollars i think that's really easy for the pelicans to match but that does come a major question if you do decide to pursue a buddy hill now do you pursue buddy hill as an individual or do you try to get buddy hill and miles turner a la the los angeles lakers right uh prior to them moving on and getting russell westbrook shout out to russ but yeah do you try to pursue those two as a tandem then things become a little more tricky the problem comes in with matching salary buddy hills at 19 i believe miles turner is going to be in his 20s um that becomes an issue i have said before the pelicans have about 47 million dollars in tradable salary without breaking up the core this offseason now that's tremendous but again 10 million of that is larry nance so i just can't foresee this team moving larry nance even if it may you know it may be the best move so larry nance is um his help is kind of you know betraying him at this point but i can't see this team moving off of larry nance just because of his leadership and how well he did play when he was healthy larry nance played very well to start the season credit to him um so that's when things become a little more dicey because even if you do package all of that you know that salary together and you go try to get a miles turner buddy hill if miles turner is even still available which i think he may be available i think it may be something like the raptors like to do they like to uh, sign their guys to their extensions that way they hold on to the asset um you may see the pelicans do that with jackson hayes as well but yeah you know i i think things get a little little more difficult when you have to piece all of that salary together to go get those two guys now where things do work out at is that again buddy hill you can either sign him to an extension or he will be a 19 million dollar salary that you can package maybe with some other salary if another big move becomes available at the deadline but i think you need to go into this season with buddy hill whether you have miles turner or not you need to go into this season with buddy hill i think his shooting you know what i'm saying his his ability to shoot off the dribble catch and shoot etc he's a veteran He's comfortable playing off of the bench. I don't care about his defense. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I, I think you need a player who, you know, plays a modern brand of basketball. And I think Buddy Hill is a perfect complimentary player for that. So again, $19 million, depending on, you know, what they what their plans are with Miles Turner, how they view JV. JV is a $15 million expiring salary, depending on how they view JV you know maybe he they view him the same way you view buddy hill as like an aspiring that they can repackage at the deadline or if they plan on moving miles turner they can extend jv jv is still a very reliable player you know healthy iron man you know great offensive player top 10 offensive player in the nba offensive center in the nba he's a top 10 offensive center in the nba 
yeah man so y'all let me know what y'all think about that be sure to like comment and subscribe hit the bell notification if you haven't already i'm out this podcast is sponsored by the Burris Law Law Firm, the official injury lawyers of Boo Crew Media, located at 918 Porridge Street by the Superdome. Give them a call at 504-523-5413 if you or someone you know has been involved in an accident. And be sure to mention we sent you. Burris Law Law Firm, the official injury lawyers of Boo Crew Media.